been fighting. <laughs> I just woke up. Wait. <laughs> give me. Give me like 10 minutes. <clears throat> Before you start. <clears throat> you start uh, talking to me about horny things. That's why. When, <laughs> when I woke up and I saw the discussion in the in the general not safe for work stuff, I just left it at that one sentence because it is way too early for me to <laughs> talk about this stuff. I just woke up. <clears throat> well, actually, I woke up like 30 minutes ago, but it feels like I just woke up. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hi. hi. <coughs> also, um, I, it's funny that <laughs> we started off and uh, I, I want to talk about um, Twitch um, policy changes because they're gonna start modding uh, Twitch chats better and what they're looking for is um, <clears throat> certain uh, spicy keywords <clears throat> so we have to be extra good now <laughs> because the mod got updated <clears throat> yum, yum. wait 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 <clears throat> let me see let me see um also, am I dropping frames for anyone? Don't. <clears throat> I hope not because my internet seems a little bit slow, but um, OBS tells me that I haven't dropped any frames. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Hi. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me... <clears throat> blog. <clears throat> what do you mean, blog? July 23rd. Yeah, this was yesterday. <clears throat> um. Okay, okay. Let me just move over to my other screen so I can say hi to you guys. And uh, I welcome in the people that came in uh, yesterday. Whatever the kind of way that's not too long. Uh, mm. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Sorry, I stayed on the starting sunscreen too long. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. Good morning. Mm. Mm. It's been. Um, it's been two days, I think, but it feels longer than that. I missed your chat. The day feels so long yesterday. <laughs> well, hmm. Um, but I think uh, after this week, I'm gonna be able to actually go back to schedule streams. Finally, I've been saying that for the past two months, but. <laughs> This time I really mean that, okay? I missed you, missed you. Um, welcome, welcome, Rose. Hi, Josh. Hi, Young. Hi, Demon Slayer. Hi, Salty. Hi, Salty. Good morning. Hi, Gary. Hi, Kai. Good morning. And just to get it out of the way really quickly, I just wanted to welcome in, well, the people that just got here a couple of hours ago. We have Limon, 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 that's L-I-M-A-U-M, and the man underscore mass. That's um A C S. Mm. We have Kenny, Kenny D, Kenny D Yanga, Kenny D Yanga, 
and Barnick B R E N I I K Barnick Barnick Vice Mancha Tree <laughs> In the Pece Modius Operandi <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in I think that was pretty much everyone. Hi! Hi hi! <coughs> hi Kai! Hi Flexi! Oh my mean! Who's a good boy? <coughs> You're really good boy, yes you like! <coughs> good morning! Hi Mike! Hi Mike! Hi Mike! <coughs> good morning! Good morning! We have a lot to yap about today! Pum -pum. I missed you guys. Um, this is gonna be a short stream though, like, no more than two hours. <laughs> I I probably won't stream any more than two hours because I I do wanna go to the gym. Mm. Well, it's morning. Yeah, it's ten. It's ten thirty for me. Um. <clears throat> okay. So. First job of the day, it's something that I, it's kind of semi-serious and I just want to get it out of the way. <coughs> um, there's, there's going to be, um, <coughs> Twitch is cracking down on, um, quote-unquote sexual harassment. Which, you know, I'm sure it does happen on Twitch. Mm, I'm not denying that. <laughs> I I just... <clears throat> I put it on quotes because some, some people like... Some people see sexual harassment as like even a compliment sometimes. <clears throat> come, come. I just drink water. <laughs> Do we have a stream? No! Two hours! You guys are wrong. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna stream two hours. Two, two, two hours. No more. No more. No more. No more. Mm. Mm. But, um... <clears throat> some... Some semi-big changes to... Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch's auto mod and, um, <coughs> uh, sexual harassment policies or whatever they call it. <coughs> I don't know, but they're just cracking down on, <coughs> on chats and streamers that might be engaging in spicy conversations. So, <coughs> this change. Uh, rolled in just yesterday, so um, maybe not everyone is aware of it. <coughs> um, <coughs> so but, uh, the auto mode um has changed a little bit, and I might have to look into my settings to see what it's set to. Oh well, I. But it says here, today we're making some clarifications to our sexual harassment policy and sharing some more about new auto mode category designed to flag chat messages that may contain sexual harassment. While our policy remains largely unchanged, these updates are designed to make the policy easier to understand. Sexual harassment is never okay or acceptable. It harms our community, can make those targeted feel unsafe and disrespected, and can discourage them, others from participating on Twitch. Yeah, that's true. It's a it's a large part of why I don't do IRL streams. <clears throat> because I did like before I started B doing, I tried to do IRL streams, but most of the people like watching or commenting were just commenting on my body, or like. Yeah, they're, they're just not paying attention to what I say, and they're just, uh, it just made me really uncomfortable. And I like when people, you know, when, when people cast me up and uh, I'm 
I don't know, uh, how do you call that? What, what is that word? Sometimes I confuse it with another word. Um, 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 dun dun dun. Mm, it, it's, it's, mm, it's something with an axe. Uh, I can't remember. Well, whatever. I don't mind an audience. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't also have a problem with other people uh, uh, sharing their naughty thoughts with me. And I don't mind. It's, uh, it's civianist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Katya. <clears throat> Katya, Katya. Thank you, thank you. Exivianist. It's Sivianist? I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. <laughs> but, um, I, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that I welcome a lot of flirty banter, and I don't mind when chat is something or, uh, you know, we, we, we get a little bit spicy from time to time, that, <clears throat> You know, that happens. <laughs> but going forward, we really have to watch out the way that we banter on Twitch because Twitch auto mod, um, Twitch auto mod works by keywords, right? So they're actively trying to look for keywords that <clears throat> their mod system, um, uh, 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 um, mm, that th that their system is actively looking for, right? And you don't always get a human representative on the other end. So you know, not always someone comes from Twitch and looks at your stream. But if you're having a lot of saucy keywords in chat, or someone, or people are throwing a lot of like sexual comments. Or, you know, things that borderline the TLS, um, <laughs> then they're eventually going to get a real life person to check on your stream, which could lead to a 3 to 7 day ban, depending on, you know, the, the rules that you're breaking or um, what Twitch might deem appropriate for you. <laughs> and so, going forward, Please be mindful of what you say because I don't want to get banned. Cha, I'm so clingy. I can't handle three or seven day ban. <laughs> so I'll I'll try to be on my best behavior too, but uh, I I can't really. <laughs> I can't make any certain promises. Like I can just tell you that I'll try my best, and you guys should too. Mm -hmm. Because I want to spend more time with you guys. Who reported you? They said no. They didn't report me. Um, Twitch is changing their auto mod. Um, their auto mod system for sexual content and comments. So basically, it's going to crack down more on adult conversations and just like flirty spaces that might be tiptoeing within the TOS. <laughs> so, you just gotta be more careful what you say in not just my chat, but other people's chats as well. Because, um, if you don't, um, if you get flagged by the Twitch system, it, um, you start becoming like a quote-unquote suspicious user or chatter. I'm not sure if, if um, if you as a user can see when they label you as such. But if you are a streamer, I don't know if it's happened to you or not. But sometimes, uh, a new chatter will pop up. And Twitch will give me a warning on top of their name saying they're a suspicious user or that other streamers have reported them as like saying inappropriate things or making unwanted comments. And um I don't I don't think it notifies the user, but it definitely tells the streamer. So if you have a reputation for 
uh, saying sussy things in other people's chats or streams, there is a chance that <clears throat> that um, Twitch will label you as sus, and when you show up in a new streamer's chat, you might have a label on you. <clears throat> kind of like, kind of like sexual predators do have with the registry, you know. <laughs> How certain, how certain um, predators are supposed to tell you <clears throat> that they're predators or they, like have some sort of sign, warning sign or something. That's basically what Twitch is doing to you guys. <laughs> oh, you're so good. And but um, yeah, th this update just rolled in yesterday, as you can see, July twenty third. <clears throat> Um, it also says here we prohibit unwanted comments, including comments made using emojis, emotes. They're even cracking down on the emote slang. <laughs> Can you believe that? So I think if you put like, like, uh, what is it? I I use those emotes a lot sometimes. So like the nice with the finger. <laughs> You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> they're, I can't believe they're, they're also cracking down on emotes. Probably no more eggplant emotes. <laughs> yeah, regarding someone's appearance or body, sexual requests or advances, sexual objectification, and negative statements or attacks related to a person's perceived sexual behavior, or activities, regardless of their gender, we also do not tolerate the recording or sharing of non-consensual intimate images or videos under any circumstances and may report such content to law enforcement. Hi Anna! Good morning! Good morning! Mwah! Morning puppy kisses for you! Mwah! Anna, I got a BIP you too, what the heck? I got update my BIP list. I did it. I did it yesterday, but I forgot. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Thank you for the reset. Mm -hmm. That's for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we have no control on how this AI automod works, and we have no idea if we're flagged or not. Yup, exactly. <laughs> now you get it, Enra. <laughs> then, um. But honestly, you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about this stuff if you're not actively making unwanted comments in someone else's stream. Um, if there is a streamer like me that you know sometimes they allow, um, they allow TOS police. <laughs> Please don't put me in horny jail, Mr. TOS police, ma'am, guy, agent. Please, 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 I've been such a good girl, I've been good. Well, yeah. I can actively make wanted comments in your stream. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, wait, 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 what was I saying? <laughs> Alright, so you won't, you won't know if you're flagged. Um, you'll just get like a little, like a little label on top of your name, and um, I don't think you should worry about this, especially if like the streamer is okay with uh, flirty banter or like it's on topic. Obviously, if you're, if it's, if it's within the stream, you know, and the streamer is comfortable with the banter that you guys are engaging in, then there's no reason why they should report you. Or, you know, help put a warning label under your name. Um, I know that sometimes <laughs> we can get a little bit flirty and our banter can, you know, borderline touch TLS, but I don't think um, it's ever escalated to a point where it, it like, guarantees a ban. Uh, like, it's, <laughs> like... I don't think I've ever done anything that's deserving of a ban, actually. Um, but, again, I feel that if the streamer, um, if the streamer is okay with such banter, 
and they're encouraging it or you know they're engaging in it they probably won't report you but you know <clears throat> just, just just be careful stinkies and plus you shouldn't be going around flirting with other streamers anyway because i'm right here sorry no i got a little bit loud <laughs> i forget we're doing ASMR sometimes i get a little bit excited Speaking of um, unwanted uh, sexual comments and stuff, this is a developing story, but there's already enough evidence to talk about it and discuss it. Um, I woke up and it gave me fucking whiplash, chat. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I There's no way that we could do the uh, I scroll Twitter and and stream when I see something that pisses me off. There's no way that we could do that because stream would just be over in less than a minute. I'm telling you. I, I woke up I woke up this morning and I already saw like three Google Doc callouts for like three different people. And oh yeah, and people are also um posting around clips of Mr. Beast when he first started out um from but, oh my gosh burp warning I'm gonna burp chat lower your volume I put it up whatever you wanna do well mm. <laughs> <laughs> my bad I did try to warn you Mm -hmm. It'd be so funny if their politics on banning streamers for only a few days with no consequences of their showing all kinds of body parts remains after this update. Yeah, that's really stupid. There's people like I remember Charlie did a video on the streamer that was like you could almost see her butthole outline. <laughs> but she was wearing a bikini and she was like there was a pool in the room right so she was with still within she was complying to twitch tls just like people do these loopholes and they straight up show um coochie and butthole imprint <laughs> And that's okay, according to Twitch, but, mm, you know, God forbid, uh, <laughs> a virtual dog in their chat mm, get a little spicy or start flirting. <laughs> Bunch of parasocial freaks. <laughs> you remember the body painting streamers? Aren't they still around? Are, are they gone? Did Twitch finally get rid of them? I, f I haven't checked the like art in the other sections in a while, but I feel like they might still be around. <laughs> Decent morning, Lurp. <laughs> mm, thanks, I was holding on to that one. No! No, don't ban me. No, no. Um, so be being my only streamer benefits me. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Um, Twitch, this guy said your butt is cute. I flagged him. B, but I like it when they do that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I. <clears throat> but but my mouth. I mean what? <laughs> you didn't even say please. No deal. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm a simple man. Be burp, spoil Max. <laughs> you guys are dorks. Mm. Arc Arctic Revolution. Thank you for the follow. Mm. <laughs> wasted 80% of it, but <clears throat> what can I say? I'm a dog. Um, <clears throat> okay, I wonder if I got flagged. <laughs> if, 
if you are like if you're having or making <clears throat> sussy comments in other people's chats there is a chance that you might be flagged I didn't say a warning in your name when you popped up in chat <clears throat> but this is also something that other people and streamers report so to be flagged <clears throat> you have to be reported by a streamer or another chatter <clears throat> or a mod <laughs> basically anyone else that's <laughs> that's not you and might not like the way that you talk or engage with a certain streamer they can flag you as sus um again but i don't i don't think this will be something that you guys have to worry about with me especially if we're in the topic of it <laughs> you guys are curious is everyone gonna start asking me if there's a flag under their name trust me there's not there's no one here has a flag there is i do i did used to have a regular that have a suspicious user flag when they came in but um they I, I actually haven't seen them in a while and they have been flagged prior to this update so like i don't know what they've been doing but <laughs> they used to they used to come in here and say hi and i would get kind of nervous like hmm what are you gonna say <laughs> But but they were actually super sweet and kind of normal in my stream, so I'm not sure why they were flagged. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, right? So I'll try to have like, you know, one or two interactions with them before I hit the ban button. <clears throat> because if someone was wrongly flagged, or you know, they were, you know, uh maybe other people in chat didn't like them and they got flagged and that's kind of unfair and i i'm not going to like just ban people on site based on what other people might have put on their record you know i believe in actions not words you know if you say a bad joke i'm not gonna judge you for it i'll just see it as a bad joke and I will judge you on your character and your actions and the way that you respond to how like the people around you <clears throat> right um but um well well <clears throat> um speaking of sexual harassment and unwanted unwanted comments a lot of stuff has been unfolding over the weekend um one of the biggest things right now that you will probably see trending coming into this new week is the Chris Tyson stuff right now people are like spinning it so out of control that like I woke up this morning and I was seeing Mr. like really really old Mr. B's clip circulating where he's reading uh donations that are like just really fucking inappropriate and people are spamming the n-word in his chat and he's telling them oh, okay guys don't stop um stop stop cursing stop saying the n-word in chat and he reads one of the comments out loud and the donations are just really foul but at no point did Mr. Beast ever said the n-word, nor did he agree with any of the foul donations that he was getting. So I don't know why people are like using that clip and trying to, you know, trying to ruin his reputation by saying, <coughs> first of all, <clears throat> I want to make something uh, I want to like bring awareness to something that like people that have never streamed might not be might not be taking into consideration, especially with with these clips that are surfacing. Streamers don't have any say or power over what people say in the fucking donations. Okay, that's one. I do believe that the community can be a reflection of the streamer for sure but this clip is for when like Mr. Beast was starting out he was very brand new to this and if you have ever if you've ever 
uh, tried streaming or have seen a streamer that is just starting out that's not corporate that doesn't have you know the resources like you know like most agencies and people that are well established or they join a content house they join um you know a corporation they join they're being managed by a huge team i'm talking about independent people that you know start on their own and they're fresh and they have no experience just like many of us mr b started off as an independent streamer who you know was trying to find his niche and place and um, if you have ever seen any starting streamer like like I said, that did everything independently and it's brand new to the game, you'll know that they're not the most competent. And they are also not super clear about their boundaries. That's why a lot of times when you go to... And I'm not shitting on this at all, because the reason why I'm talking about this is because I've been there. I have been in that same spot, you know? When I first started streaming, I only really chilled with like two people in chat and a lot of times there would be people that would come in and try to steer the conversation and make it about themselves or um, start saying inappropriate things and as a new streamer you are kind of in a difficult place because um, you're just starting out and sometimes when you're a small guy a, a small fry you don't you don't take into consideration uh your like own boundaries because you're kind of happy that people are just there hanging out <clears throat> and again i can't i can't say this for everyone i'm just talking based on my my personal experience and other streamers, my fellow streamers, um, because I think that that clip is really stupid. Like, yes, he had people in his chat at some point saying foul things, but he was all also really, really new to this. And anyone that's new to streaming has always had that problematic person in chat that they just kind of brushed off or kind of just like you know didn't get rid of because they were just happy to have people around and as sad as that might sound that is the truth for a lot of small streamers um it's really sad and well well <laughs> it's why why um i try to support smaller streamers sometimes but I, d I also uh, don't like when when they just allow that cycle to keep going for like the rest of their career, right? Because there's definitely streamers that get problematic chatters or just straight up trolls, you know? People that will say really foul things and they brush it off and or just like straight up ignore it because they want to keep that one viewer in their channel. Which, again, when you are a small streamer, I kind of understand that. But what people don't realize is that that ends up hurting you a lot more in the long run. Because if you have, if you have two people in your chat and one of them is being a shithead, they're going to scare away everyone else. And it's going to stop people from engaging with your content, from typing in your chat, and it's just going to make you seem overall unapproachable because it shows your chat that you are okay with that you're okay with that behavior and you don't mind people just trolling and saying slurs and being shitheads in your chat right? Um, but again when you are a smaller streamer sometimes that's that you know that doesn't bother you as much especially because you feel that, you know, they're taking time out of their day to engage with you or sit down and watch your stream, but sometimes it takes a while, especially when you're starting out, but 
those people in the long run are doing more harm to your stream than you think. Even if you are a smaller streamer, think about this in a real life situation or scenario. If you have a group of friends, if you're hanging out with another person, and then someone comes and kills the vibe, you're not gonna want to be there. And that, that is the same for the streaming space. People go there to relax or hang out, make friends. You know, whatever you might be watching streamers for, whether it's for entertainment, some company, someone to talk to, play some games, whatever it might be, it's going to get in the way of things if you just have someone in the middle killing the vibe. Um, and again, I think a lot of smaller streamers just put up with it because they just appreciate the fact that they have three people in the room watching them. Um, and I think th it's the same thing for like those Mr. Beast clips that people don't take into consideration. When you're a new streamer, uh, you kind of put up with a lot of shit. And you're just starting to get your confidence in setting your boundaries and, you know, it's kind of like a uphill climb, of course. <laughs> But um, I I have I have uh, I have definitely grown from that, like learned from it. And every time that I get someone that just kills the vibe in chat or is like hogging the chat, I try to I try to tell them or give them a warning because again, these are things that I learned that make a streamers unapproachable, and it it kills the vibe. <laughs> so I have gotten a lot more assertive and more confident in my streaming but um when you're starting out it's not it's definitely not like that. You you're inexperienced, you don't know a lot of people and you are definitely not as assertive or uh you know, communicate your boundaries as clearly, in my opinion. Especially if you're just jumping into it independently and you don't have the help of a corporation or an agency or whatever the case might be. So, I think those Mr. Beast clips that are just circling around are, you know, obviously to for clout. First of all, people are always trying to drag him down. <laughs> You can't please anyone, and Twitter is a toxic cesspool, so I'm not surprised that people are trying to paint him in a bad picture over donations that he has no control over again. He never said the n-word, he never said any other- he- <laughs> To be fair, he said faggot, but like- this was so long ago, and it's it's not like it's not like a, a a cancelable offense, okay? If you want to deplatform Mr. Beast because <laughs> he said faggot a long time ago, and I'm talking like almost ten years ago. No, this wasn't ten years ago. I want to say maybe like eight years ago. <clears throat> if you wanna can if you wanna cancel all the good he's done over one fucking word, I think you're a pro- you're the problem, you need to look inwards. <laughs> mm. As much as I have disagreements with Mr. Beast, I respect that he at least tries to be decent. Yeah. Also his burgers suck. Yep. I had the, the Mr. Beast burger meal pack and it was okay. The burgers weren't the worst, but they weren't good. You know what was good? Uh, I like the fry- the cheesy fries that they came with. I- I think it varies from location, because I've seen some people open the- the- the beast- <laughs> the Mr. Beast box meal thingy, and I was like, oh, their fries look way different than mine. Mine were really good, but, um, the burger was mid. Burger was mid. Baka. Baka. Hi son, hi ladies and flower, welcome, good morning, good morning, good morning, 
but um yeah those those mr beast clips surface it uh they just stupid and moving on to the chris tyson thing um i can't even defend that to be honest like that one i fully agree chris is a fucking weirdo there's like substantial evidence now at at first i was a little bit skeptical um and i was like oh this this is just people wanting to make this uh um people just want to use this as, as an excuse to hate on trans people right that's what i thought was at first but um no this is like an actual issue that makes chris look like a total fucking freak <laughs> And I just can't defend that. I can't defend any of that. And I hope that I hope that with all of the stuff that has been coming out within the last 48 hours, people stop defending them because there is way too, ma too much evidence of them engaging in inappropriate conversations with, you know, on minors. Not to mention the the group chat setting which bro if you're an adult why are you in a group chat with a bunch of minors and talking about coming for america and all of these like um edgy sexual jokes it doesn't matter what the context of the fucking jokes was they were in a fucking group chat with children saying these jokes like you can't fucking defend that it, it's not it's not a trans issue. It's an entertainer issue. There's, I don't. Uh, there is like a, a a type of like chemical imbalance that just gets triggered whenever people get clout, fame, money, power, and I think it should be studied. Like I think people that uh, just that become personalities that generate a lot of money views and they get you know um a lot of power and they everyone knows them blah 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 i think those people should go under some sort of like study they, they should check their brain you know like once a year or do some sort of like investigation to make sure that they're staying in line or not doing anything fucking weird because every it's like you can't trust anyone you can't look up to anyone it fucking sucks um speaking of of like clout and how it fucking makes people nuts there was this other issue that I wanted to talk about. Oh, but first, first let me catch up. Let me catch up the redeems chat. I've been japping for almost an hour. I have not grinded any blood. <laughs> I've just been japping away. It's because I hadn't seen you guys in two days, so I missed you. <laughs> let me let me pack a bow here, but also someone redeem my case. I'm gonna lick your ear. Come here, cha. start doing things they couldn't before and think they're invincible i guess it's why i will i had that take the other day of like where the beethoven community was going around saying oh um beethovers aren't beethovers because they're ugly and they want to hide behind the pretty model uh, everyone is beautiful on the inside blah 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 everyone is beautiful in their own way and i was like no the fuck we're not no the fuck we're not because some people have really have never really had attention or praise 
and now that they have a pretty beat of their model, it, it got to their fucking head, and they're out here acting like they're reliving their high school years. <clears throat> so, I do agree, definitely, uh, you know, clout, fame, attention, money, all of those things tend to mm, slowly change the chemical. <laughs> the chemical, something, something in your brain. And a lot of them just can't handle it. They turn into liars, players, backstabbers, pieces of shit, whatever, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> but, um, I, uh, not to, <laughs> not to, like, um, toot my own horns, but, um, I've been, I've been, I've been pretty cute all my life, so, uh, I didn't get the, like, shock. <laughs> I mean, what I'm trying to say is that I was giving attention, enough attention growing up, <laughs> that, uh, I don't feel the need to put others down or, like, talk about their behind their back or, like, uh... Or, I don't know, start changing my morals or who I am as a person or being fake around you guys because I might have a couple of people watching me or, you know, one of my streams popped off or like, I have gone, uh, I've, I've gone quote unquote viral twice and I think if I could survive that and not let it get to my head, <laughs> I think I have a good tolerance for things. Um, but I feel like that type of behavior mostly comes from people that just never really had friends and weren't good-looking individuals, uh, growing up, so they never really got complimented, they never, like, had people flirt with him, with them, <clears throat> and so, like, now that they have a pretty VTuber model, they just go around flirting with everyone and <clears throat> thinking that they're hot shit. So, uh, I don't agree with the like, oh, let's be, uh, people are just, people are just jealous and they're just saying mean things about Beatles. Everyone is beautiful. Cause fuck that shit. Nah, I don't agree with that. Some of you motherfuckers were ugly on the inside and outside growing up and it shows. And it shows. It shows. Oh yeah, definitely. There is, there is, I'm not gonna say any names, but there is a couple of beatovers that I thought their models were super cool. And they were like, they were like, oh my gosh, we should meet up. And, but I don't think you would like me in person. <clears throat> and then they'll do the, the like, oh, wolf fingers. And I would be like, oh yeah, you're right. I probably would not like you in person because I just met you like an hour ago and you're already trying to meet up in person and bang. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you think- you think I can get laid in my hometown? I just have to download Tinder, and in five minutes I'll get a date. <laughs> not to be- not to be that person and sound cocky, but it's just like... Who are you? Mm, people piss me off when they come up to me with that type of shit. Mm, and I bet the worst part is that, like, some of them are, like, popular beatovers, where I feel that that approach might work with someone else. That's not me. Like, you know, someone that might look up to their content, or might really like them, or think that they're good people, they don't see the warning signs, or, like, someone inexperienced. Because I definitely get, I, I've, you know, I think I've socialized enough where, like, I can anticipate some people's behavior, or what they're gonna say, <laughs> their intentions, there we go. I'm really good at, um, at telling, telling, uh, telling what people's intentions are gonna be. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. 
Dun dun dun. All these motherfuckers think they're sitters now, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. It's just mostly. Um, actually, not even like. I'd much rather talk to an anonymous user with the screen name Fart Lover for 2069 and answer the DMs. I, I'd much rather answer their DMs than a popular VTuber with like 100k followers. I'd much rather reply to Fart Lover for 2069 than them because the big VTuber is probably going to try to uh, first me up and use their numbers and their cloud to entice me. It's happened before and I just I wonder if that type of thing works with other streamers. I hope not because every time that that's happened to me and I've just you know left them on red whenever I do see them collaborating with other uh, girls I wonder did they offer them the same deal? Or did they just come really strong onto me because, you know, I, I be posting some thirst traps. <laughs> so they think that, you know, I'm down to clown right away. <clears throat> <clears throat> but, you know, whatever, whatever those people do between them is between them. I'm not... I'm not going to question the methods of how some streamers climb get to the top but you know um it's not for me i just i i can't pretend to like someone not even for like money or clout if you come at me with disrespect or entitlement uh i just i'm not gonna be interested in engaging with you no matter how much clout or money you might have <clears throat> i'm fine <laughs> I'm fine. I like I like my own little corner of the internet and I've gotten here on my own with the support of some other streamers that I consider, you know, uh really good people, like decent people. <laughs> Which is kinda rare in the streaming space, believe it or not. Um yum, yum, yum. How well, well. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, okay. Almost one hour of japping later. We're about to take our first hit. Yeah. <clears throat> Open up, chat. Sorry. Uh, or, or just turn the other way so I, the smoke won't get in your eyes. <laughs> Ready? Now. Hmm. Shots. <coughs> Do you warm than everything? You guys, even if you kind of smell, 
Now, Mom. Speaking, y'all ever snort that heat? No, but I will put that shit on anything, and I will have a spoonful of it if I can. In fact, I think I have some tahine in the room right now. <laughs> tom nom, tom nom nom, tom nom nom. Here, come here, come here. Um. <clears throat> Are you listening? Oh, here, come here. <laughs> wah, wah. Okay, okay. Last one. Last one because I missed you guys. <laughs> oh well. Mm. There we go. Mm. Um, mom. Mm. I Why are gloves? These are my favorite trick liars. Mm. When I go to other people's streams, this is the trigger that I request the most. Mm. It's, it sounds so good, and I still need to practice and making it flow a little better. Wait. And before I do the next routine, we gotta hydrate. I brought some tea for you guys. So, let me pour you a cup. Mm. I have my bench presser here. I forgot to get more honey. I can eat tahin too, like I can eat it like nothing, but snort it, 
I can't do that shit. But for a hundred bucks back in middle school, I probably would have done it. <laughs> Ate a spoonful of wasabi for fifty dollars. <laughs> I believe it. Wasabi? I don't know how people actually enjoy that. <clears throat> I had it once, never again. <clears throat> Come here. I'm gonna do likeies now. If you don't want me slurping on your ear, you can mute me for like a minute, 30 seconds. I don't know. <clears throat> no. Actually, I should. Um, um.
good night, Sophie. Sweet dreams. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Night night. <laughs> um, um, breaching containment? No, that's just my coffin parting corner. Yeah, I would never breach containment when you guys are around. I don't wanna leave you. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I'm too clingy for that. Oh, oh that's what I need to add. Let me add that, guy. Here. The... Bum. No, not that one. <laughs> no. No. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I will never leave you guys. I'm too clingy for that. <laughs> Did anyone ever meet up a girlfriend in middle school? Or boyfriend in middle school? <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. I did. When I was in like... <laughs> what? <laughs> That'll get your sweaty hands off of me. But it's a good morning. Hi. Mm. Good morning. Mm. 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 Um, 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 um. Anyone else ever made up a boyfriend or girlfriend? Because all of their friends had a boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's, that's like, some shit that mm, I would do in 7th grade of middle school, and this morning, I, which, my first mistake is going on Twitter, mm. <laughs> This morning, I woke up and got lip lash because I looked on Twitter and one of my mutuals had a Google Doc against them <clears throat> with a lot of <laughs> undeniable evidence that they have formulated this fantasy cosplayer girlfriend and I think this has been going on for like more than a month, mind you, chat. And it's really fucking weird. Like, what the fuck? It does, and you know, I always got the vibe that this person was kind of like weird already. But I never really wanted to. Actually, this happened like as soon. When I was taking my morning piss, that's when I, I saw this dog and a bunch of accusations and it gave me whiplash. I took my piss and I was like, I have no time for this. Um, I'm going to get on stream and start my day because otherwise I will get sucked into Twitter, spent like an hour or two scrolling and rotting in my bed, but... <clears throat> I managed to close the fucking application and start my day with you guys. <laughs> um, this is what I was talking about. The name of the account, Chucky, isn't real. Hi, Sunny. Welcome. Welcome, good morning. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck? First of all, mm, no, we can't. We can't be mutuals anymore, cause you're a fucking weirdo. Weirdo. I did this shit, and like, this is some shit that like people in middle school 7th grade too. I don't know why you need to fabricate these lies and 
pretend that this random e like I don't, I don't want to say e girl she could just be cosplaying or just a girl that post likes to post you know nice pictures on on Twitter whatever it might be I know what it's like to get my pictures stolen you know even elementary yes this is elementary school behavior like this person was always jumping and commenting on the drama around the B2Win community anyway so I already kind of had like off vibes about them but this just kind of sealed the deal that's insane not only is he like fabricating this made up girlfriend and stealing pictures from a real model slash cosplayer innocent girl she's like sexy was depicting her as like a sexual deviant you know like she was he would tweet stuff like oh my girlfriend is so horny my dick is sore when i get home i'm in big trouble blah 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 so he would always post shit like that and i was just like oh okay whatever good for them and now that i've come to find out that he just took some girl's pictures and made up this whole thing man what the fucking weirdo well, like why would you make up a girlfriend? I'm right here. There's, you know, he, first of all, you're in the Beethoven space where, like, there's so many parasocial streamers. You could quite literally have, a like, a much real, like, a much more real relationship with the Beethoven, with the streamer. You, like, it's another, it's another type of fucked up to fabricate someone that was just never there and, like, <laughs> For what? <laughs> like, I don't understand it. Was this? Was this? This is. Do you think that the Beethoven space is that sex deprived and full of virgins that we will think they would think you're so much cooler for having a girlfriend? <laughs> Bro, no one gives a fuck. I assure you, no one gives a fuck. Okay. <laughs> Doing this type of shit is fucking weird. I've had my pictures taken from me, and I've had people pretend to be me, and people that were that thought were in a relationship with me. It's fucking weird. Um, I feel so bad for the girl Lily, who is like the victim in all of this, and. It's just really fucking weird to do all of this stuff. I have not seen uh, any like uh, where's the doc? I I think there was a link to a doc earlier, but they have proof, like definite proof, that this guy took pictures. Look, guys, my dick is fucked, and then a picture of him at the hospital that he stole from another creator, like a person. Not, not even Clayton, I guess. <clears throat> See, Saxi has such a like way bigger platform that you see this one has 400 something likes as compared to this one that has under 100. <clears throat> and for what? I <laughs> now you look like the stupidest fucking person ever. Was, was this supposed to make you look cool? Like what the fuck? And, like I said, this poor girl, like, her f poor image has been associated with all of his perverted tweets and all of his, like, sex fantasies and scenarios that he made up with this girl that a lot of people liked and were like, Yes, go sexy! Clap them cheeks! Clap them cheeks! <laughs> And it was just like fabricated. <laughs> and like, I feel so bad for this girl who like has no idea who the fuck this person is. <laughs> because I've been there. So fuck you, Saxy. <laughs> you cannot believe anything that this motherfucker says anymore. 
even went so far you know when i th when i confirmed that the by the way i had my own suspicions but you know what really sealed the deal back when i was kind of like um <clears throat> this guy brags too much <clears throat> this is when i when i really was suspicious <clears throat> he got a bento as a gift and <clears throat> Then apparently he also received this other bento and said, Thank you, Chucky, for cooking up this bento after work now. And like <laughs> I I think this was like very early into the relationship and I was like there is no way that this girl who is like super pretty by the way, not to like be that person but why is she putting so much effort into a brand new relationship like this? Like, I know some people love hard, but there's no amount of dick in the world that is, like, good enough to make make someone start cooking dumb lunches like this. Like, I, that, <laughs> I was like, this has to be fake. I <laughs> just... <laughs> And you know, like, you, sometimes your gut tells you something and you ignore it because you're like, no, I'm overthinking or like exaggerating things, but oh man, I really gotta listen to my gut more often. Um, here is the, the doc, which I have not seen or <laughs> read in detail. <laughs> but it's so easy to like reverse emails. You like do a, a reverse image search on things <clears throat> why would they oh right i have dark mode <laughs> wait wait look at look at all these people reading it there's 17 people reading this fucking doc right now <laughs> always like had my suspicions but I never bothered to do the research because I don't give a fuck who, who gives a fuck if you have a girlfriend or not this is such a weird thing to fucking lie about and again why would you lie about having a girlfriend in a space full of beetlebears where like so many parasocial relationships thrive like you could you know you could go to a streamer and like <laughs> I'm not talking about all of them because not all of them welcome that but I'm saying that there is a lot of you know spaces where you could get a girlfriend dynamic like an actual more realistic experience and talk to a real girl not this fabricated image <laughs> of a horned up Asian girl um, destroying your dick like I feel so bad for her and I always got the I always thought that he was kind of like weird because he interacted with a lot of cosplayers and women and girls whatever in like really um <clears throat> well, let me- you guys could just see it for yourselves, actually. They, they're really weird and thirsty, and a lot of these girls are not even, like, streamers or uh, sex workers or girlfriend experience anything. So, like, just think of just being a cosplayer that exists in online spaces, and then you just get people like Saxy coming up to you and saying crap like, let's see, no love, no protection all night long, from the kitchen floor to the toilet seat, from the dining room, table to the couch, vertically, horizontally, quadruply, exponentially, <sighs> while I, wait, logarithmically, blah blah blah, while I gasped and screamed for my life. Like, imagine saying this shit to a stranger. Like, just walking up to a stranger and saying something like this to them. What a fucking weirdo. 
like this isn't even like girlfriend experience streamers or anything like that it's just fucking cosplayers it's just girls posting their cosplays and then you get fucking weirdos like Saxy making these type of comments in public they have no shame first of all so you can only imagine how much worse it's actually in their DMs I only had like I would say maybe two interactions with Saxy but um I don't think they were you know off the top like this and I to be fair, I do engage. I do put out a lot of girlfriend experience content, and I like to think that um some of you guys is only emotional support virtual dog, mm, and I can't be a parasocial freak. So, to me, some of these comments are not that bad if I'm being honest. Like, and some of them he would just call them pretty or something. Um, here the this one says please be my girlfriend <clears throat> um another one this is my girlfriend by the way like those these type of comments would not bother me because i do girlfriend experience content and if someone says please my girlfriend i'm gonna say we're married now <laughs> i'm your responsibility now but these girls didn't ask for that shit. These girls are just posting their cosplays and then they get like fucking weirdo comments and <laughs> people saying, breeding them all night, all day, blah blah blah. And they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, don't. I don't want to say you shouldn't use me and other streamers in, in the way that you interact with them as a blueprint for interacting with other people on the internet. One thing that helps me sometimes, uh, I can help other people, I think, to ground yourself a little better when you're online. Could be kind of picturing yourself in the room. You know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I, I just feel bad for for Lily in this entire situation. Mm, she's just a girl. Mm. And um I don't I don't know what problems you have to have really to f formulate a whole relationship and to all of your followers who by the way I I'm pretty sure uh, Saxy had a good amount of followers. Hold on. Uh, let's check for a moment. 37k.3 followers. You're showcasing your weird behavior and mental illness to that many fucking people. It's just so fucking weird, chat. It's just weird. I can't, I can't defend this. And I don't... I don't know what their excuse is, or... I, I just don't care. <laughs> I I don't give a fuck. I... I never want to... Um... I feel like people like this have a pattern to do things like this, you know? And... While I do believe in... In, uh... In people that, that can be redeemed, I do believe people can be redeemed. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't believe that people should be just their mistakes. I think we should allow people to learn from them and grow, become better members of society, or grow as per uh, you know as people. But when you do this type of thing for so long, with so much confidence, I think that says a lot about you. And it's kind of like a big problem. You need some help i can't help you and i'm not going to entertain it like i said i only interacted with sexy twice and both of the times they were fine and again if they did make any comments about you know um any any flirty comments towards me then mm, it was you know it was consensual, and if you're wondering 
<laughs> I do consent with being flirted with, <laughs> but there is definitely time and place for certain comments, and some people uh, need to be better aware of that. <laughs> Timing can be difficult, I get it. Not everyone could be a verse master like me. Mm -hmm. mm. But he could have literally just stuck to the clips and had the same, if not more, cloud. Yeah. I don't know why they s they wasted their time fabricating a made up made up girlfriend and stealing pictures from a cosplayer, when they could have used that time and effort and energy to like put actual content. Or do other things. I don't know. I just feel like doing all those gymnastics takes a lot of effort and time. <laughs> no, or maybe I'm just, you know, I'm just really lazy and can't handle more than doing one or two tasks at the same time. Well, burp on me. I'm gonna burp. Mm. <laughs> My bad. My bad, Jack. Your poor ears. Beast my girlfriend, that's it. We're married, Jack. Yay! We're married now. You have to buy me a $500. Wait, not $500. 500 pound back of dog food. I'm your responsibility now. But don't worry, I clean up after myself. You don't have to worry about me too much, you just have to keep me fed and give me lots of head pads. Well, now we have it done. Mm -hmm. I don't need much, I'm a simple dog. <laughs> I'm glad it was only twice, cause honestly. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I... Literally, be like a girlfriend and boyfriend. I feel bad about it sometimes. I overthink and shit. No! I am your girlfriend. Until... Until one day I'm not. But it's okay. I'm not gonna think about that day. <laughs> also, I know I'm a little bit behind on reading, so... I'll try to catch up with them after I have a couple sips of this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need to pack another hit. Ready? Where's that heat boy? Thank you for the follow. reading all of that crap in the morning? Well, I didn't read all of it. And even just now, I didn't read all of it either. <laughs> um, do you call it? <sighs> I think we pretty much covered most of it, seen the evidence. There's no need to actually go through the entire doc. If you guys want to yourselves, then, you know, you know where to find it. We, it was just on screen for the last 30 minutes of the stream, so... Uh, if you want to know more about that stupid ass situation... Well, do it in your own time. I'm moving on from that. Shit's stupid as fuck. <laughs> no need to spend more time mm, discussing it. <clears throat> but, um, another thing I did want to, uh, kind of yap about or mention before I leave, um, I want to do the 1k burp celebration <laughs> stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it, um, I think I'm gonna do it at the end of the month. Wow. <laughs> and I'm still maybe planning on doing a, like an actual debut on on my birthday. 
take me. But I still don't know. I don't know what I want to do on my birthday. It's so overwhelming when people know it's your birthday and they're like, what are you gonna do for your birthday? I don't know what I'm gonna do for my fucking birthday. I want to eat a lot. That's all I know, okay? I don't care where I do it. I just want to eat a lot. I want cheesy stuff. I want an appetizer. I want an entree. I want a dessert. <laughs> I want a three-part mm, lunch. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. <laughs> I I will. I guess I'll, I'll let you guys know if I really do happen to do the every time that I do any event or blah 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 mm, or you wanna change things up I I don't I don't let enough people know <laughs> like I don't I don't I should get better at planning out my streams and I wanna do that at the end of this month I'm just mm, really busy with my day to day things I have work and I have to actually help my roommates clean up the apartment because one of them is moving out so we're gonna we're gonna have an inspection soon for the house <coughs> and so the house needs to be in good shape or the landlord is gonna get a heart attack and try to raise our rent <laughs> so um, that's why, that's the reason streams have been kind of scattered, <clears throat> um, and since it's my birthday month, I decided that, that I'm gonna take things at my own pace, I guess that's kind of like my birthday gift to myself, <clears throat> do not rush things, and, you know, I will, I will take the days for what they are. Bum bum. Hi Kai. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> cheers, I'll smoke to that. <clears throat> bum, bum. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna burn out, basically. Netball tomorrow? Don't spoil it for me. I'm watching it Friday. Maybe on Saturday we can talk about it. Mm. <laughs> but have fun. I wanna. Are you gonna get the popcorn buckets? Mm. I got last time that I was at the movies. I watched Despicable Me fly, and I got the the little plushie. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. I'm too lazy to get up and down. But, he's there. Trust me. <clears throat> well. <laughs> also, I really recommend the movie. It's really cute and funny. How's this feel? I'm crunchy. I do the days that I don't stream. It feels so long. Uh. Oh my god. 
a million thoughts racing through me. Maybe I haven't smoked enough weed. I still <laughs> sometimes my ring convinces me that people don't like me and then they do something <clears throat> nice that I like <laughs> you know they just do something nice <clears throat> and I'm just like oh they don't hate me that's cool <laughs> Because I have a hard time keeping in contact with people. Uh, and sometimes when it's been a while, I just assume that they don't like me anymore. Because, uh, well, <laughs> because the concept of time is not the same for me as it is for some other people. Like, Sometimes an entire week feels like one long day. But that's just sometimes when I get in like in like a cycle of like um kinda like same day syndrome. So it's like I'll do the same things at work and the same things when I get home and it just feels like all of those days were one long day. I don't know if people understand what I'm trying to say, but I know I'm not the only one that experiences this. Um, but, but, um, yeah, like, <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes I just tend to overthink. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring the mood down. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, chronically think that people hate me, just sometimes. <clears throat> ah, but, uh, thank you for the biddies. <coughs> They're very yummy. <coughs> what were your thoughts? Hi Kim, good morning, good morning. Sorry, I'm really behind on chat. <laughs> <coughs> Seriously, love you unconditionally. I love my series unconditionally too. Wow. Wow. Oh, that reminds me of I <laughs> I read it up I read it up last time on stream, but uh, I actually found my my anime archetype like characters. Like you know how there's like uh like subcategories. Well, actually different categories. Of like there is like uh, the main ones are Sundere, Yandere, Kodere, Dere Dere, Dandere, Dandere. <clears throat> well, I found out that I would be categorized Kondere, Wandere, Wandere. 
<laughs> and uh, one day, look, look, she's so weak. No, it's not here. Sorry. Uh, that was just my mentions that I left open. <laughs> and I have a tab here. Bandere. Mm. Wanda is a term for a character who acts like a dog around their love interest. They will be very affectionate and playful and may do things like wagging a part of their body uh, to get the attention of their love. <laughs> That's you guys. That's me. That's why my tail is going off all the time when you guys are around. <laughs> They also are very loyal to their love interest, like a dog is to its master. <clears throat> uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Characteristics. There we go. Here we go. Mm -mm. Wandere characters in official media are always actual dogs. Characters who are part aren't part dogs but simply act like a dog may also count too but this has never been shown in official media I, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that <clears throat> Wondery are characters that uh, act like dogs and many are actual dogs while others are Inumimi Inumimi part human and part dog mm, that's not what I am Wanderei characters are usually energetic or at least generally happy. <laughs> I don't know about energetic. Well, actually, when I play video games, it's kind of different. But when I'm doing ASMR... Oh my gosh, am I energetic? Mm. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I can... I, I could be really chill, but I do tend to yap a lot. And I feel like that could be translated as energized. I'm not very energized. I feel really energized after the gym, though. Which, <laughs> I need to go to soon. But I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. Um. Um, then, then. I'm feeling called out right now. <laughs> Dust, dust, dusty, dusty sands. Thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our very energy is job based. Oh yeah. Well, I, I just yeah. I got the zoomies. <laughs> See, Rosie knows. Dun, dun. I just got I just got momentary zoomies. Like mm, yesterday. I had the zoomies. I could not stay still, and I almost posted like something on Twitter like, "Oh, I'm having a buff day. I can't stay still." But that was like, "Eh, no, it's okay. I won't tweet that. I'll just go outside and run a bunch of times in a circle with my dogs. That'll make me feel good." Mm. And yeah, that usually does help. <laughs> It's just, uh, sometimes, I, I don't feel like I'm either lazy or I just don't smoke weed. And if my ADHD is too, uh, there's days where it's not that bad, but like, there's days where I feel like I just can't sit still in front of a computer. I work, if, I have to do a work in front of a computer and I like streaming, so then I have to be in front of a computer again. And so there's days where that just... I think it it's too much for me. And I don't want to be an, near any screens to the point where I don't even want to look at my phone. Um, and... Yesterday was kind of one of those days. <laughs> so... I couldn't... I. That's also another reason why I don't stream. Uh, not only did I have really bad time management, but I just I couldn't sit still. <laughs> I have the zoomies. 
<laughs> but um, it says here when attempting to express their love, they may try to lock part of their body, such as their hair. Um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, let me move those. Here. No, 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 no. Let me move those here. There we go. Mm, um, um. One day, uh, ba ba ba, Kirk was usually energetic, that's voice top, or generally happy. They might also be the pick bird. Also, because those traits may be their default personality, or they may also act excited or airheaded when they are showing their dare side. <laughs> One day, characters are commonly depicted as having a bit of an appetite. They can eat a lot of food in one sitting, and they are almost always hungry. Yeah, I'm actually hungry right now. I did bring a pre-workout meal, but I keep forgetting to open. Here's a protein yogurt. I got, I got ziggies. Ziggies. Um, so I'm eating Siggy's Vanilla. This has 15 grams of protein. And I like to give it flavor by cracking a chocolate peanut butter protein bar on top of it. Um, and this will give me a total of 30 grams of protein. Um, which is a really good amount for, you know, as a pre-workout. Mm. And it's not a heavy thing to eat. Anyway, um, yeah, almost always hungry, Chuck. Mm. They're usually loyal to their love interest, like a dog is with their master. Mm -hmm. They're also very protective of their master. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Tell me that's not my character archetype. <laughs> mm. I didn't even know there was such thing as a wanderer. 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 Mm. Mm. about it very recently. in my face. This yogurt is so good. I mean, Sikis is already, I think, one of the best yogurt brands out there. But, um, the peanut butter and chocolate makes it so much better. It's like eating a dessert. Um, that's full of protein. Um, I've been trying to eat better too. It's hard. Mm. Mm. I love running around and lifting weights. I like going to the gym and 
hiking, swimming, being active. One of the things that, because I've had family members, and I'm not gonna like bring them with them, but um, one of the things that I just like think is so small, and we never really think about. Well. It's not really small, but it feels small because no one stops to like consider it or kind of really be grateful for it. It's the privilege to like be able to walk places because not everyone is able to do that. Mm. 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 And sometimes when I'm having a really rough day, I will, I will go for a walk, and the fact that I'm even able to do that, I'm so grateful for that, mm. and that like, that gives me a, like a different outlook on things, if I'm really down, mm. so, I know it's like something really simple, and that a lot of people don't every day, but we're kind of lucky to be able to do that. <laughs> mm. Mm. out because mm, makes me feel good and I'm thankful for it and um, I used to I used to be really like in, in, in really bad health before I still kind of am because when you when you grow up overweight um, it it's like you know it's easier for you to develop chronic illnesses or like get sick easier mm. and I was I was really unhealthy in into like my last year of middle school I think that's when I started actually eating better and being more active <clears throat> so for the people that were here earlier at the beginning of the, of the stream no I I didn't grow up being um pretty that changed <laughs> that changed more in high school mm. Mm. Um, so you know ugly people <clears throat> I got you Mm. 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 I did not have to. Mm. I had to work for my, <laughs> for my attractiveness because I was overfed as a child, <laughs> and I had no self control, so I'll just eat anything. <laughs> mm. And. And that's one of the big motivators for continuing to go work out for me. Being able to, you know, continue to eat as much as I want. <laughs> and not get sick as often. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it does hit no one. I'm still early for crying. Trash bin. <laughs> Thank you for the bottle. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Bye, my John. Have a good rest of your week. Unless something stops me from like being able to get up and walk, I like to keep um, mm, taking care of my health and being active um, for as long as I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Making the change one is attractive. Mm, that's true. I actually think the same way about other people. Um, mm, I like going to the gym because it motivates me. Seeing everyone try to, you know, do the same and take care of themselves. Mm, mm, I try to hit a PI. Mm. Or, um, when, you know, there's a homie using the, the pull-up bars in insane Olympic ways. Yo, that shit is cool to see. I love going to the gym and seeing other people like I'm kind of a people watcher <laughs> and I'm very social to like you know whenever I I do like see other people even if they're strangers you just like smile at them give them a nod something like that if if we are actually you know um meeting eyes or like with an eyesight cause like why not and <laughs> that reminds me of that <laughs> incident that I had at Costco when I was summed out. <laughs> and speaking of like strange uh, interactions with other people, that one was so awkward because I zoned out. And I'm. Uh, bye, Rosie. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> <clears throat> I I was just like <laughs> I was thinking about what I what else I needed to buy from Costco and I just kind of zoned out and I started like I started squeezing my boobs because I do that sometimes when I zone out or like I don't know I was I needed to stim I 
<laughs> I was thinking. I was holding my thinking boobs, my thinking pair of boobs, okay? And I, I just kind of zoomed out and I squeezed my boobs. And once I snapped out of it, I noticed that this guy was like just pretty much standing right there <laughs> at the end of the aisle looking at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I got so red and I just like turned to him. We both, as soon as I snapped out of it and our eyes made contact with each other, <laughs> we both turned around the opposite way. And I was like, oh my gosh, fuck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what the fuck? I was so embarrassed. Bye, Rosie. I was so embarrassed. I just, I never, like, I. <laughs> that was you, sir. I'm so glad that it was just like him. Like, you know, some. This is some older dude, but like, oh my gosh, I need to watch out when I sun out in public. That's so embarrassing. It's <laughs> these stupid habits that I don't notice. Oh my gosh, this is why I have a stress ball. I should take this out in public, but then people. But then it, it's kind of like peeling back the mask a little bit too much, right? <laughs> uh, it should have been me. <laughs> I would much rather chat over dog sitter see that shit. Not the random dude at Costco. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I think I zoned out. I hope that I zoned out for like no more than like 30 seconds. I hope so, cause like... <laughs> How long was he watching for? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I got a frog. I got a frog. Look. about most of my embarrassing experiences that way if you follow me you might uh more uh, yappy twitter then <laughs> you know exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> but i can't i can't do real anymore so i need to go it's been two hours I meant to stream, I meant to stream less than this, but I, I was having a good time. Mm. But I, I have to go to the gym, and also I agreed to help clean out some things with my roommates around three, so. I have to be a responsible dog and, mm, yeah, and say goodbye, I don't wanna. But hey, we can take another hit, huh? Goodbye hit? Mm, it's cute to take another hit. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm the clean, don't go! No! <laughs> it's just like me! <laughs> um, I want to stream later, but I don't know if I can. I want to. <laughs> if I finish all of my chores like a good girl, maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a late night stream. 
Yesterday felt so long because I didn't stream, but I just know today is gonna go really quick. I mean, it's already going to be one o'clock for me. <laughs> but I had a really good start to the day, so I'm not complaining. I actually I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm so clingy. Hmm. Oh. 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 Leaving us. No! Wait, we're gonna take a hit first. We're gonna take a hit. Mm. Don't go, don't go, chat. Mm -mm -mm. How long are you streaming by? Oh, I meant to actually unstream at the 2 hour mic, but I still wanna take one hit. Mm. I'm just really clingy. <laughs> No, no, no. What? Don't be sad? No. I, mm, I hate saying goodbye, but I won't be sad because I spend time with you guys. Whenever I have a morning stream, I start off the day in a really good note. Um, so, I'm not sad, but I do hate goodbyes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pack on here for us to say. <clears throat> There's so many other things that I wanted to jump about today. But, I'll save them for next time. Where am I going to go? Oh, yeah. Bungo. I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna stink of cucumber. Baby boy. Thank you for the follow.
<laughs> there we go. Oh, bye, chat. I miss you. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Mm. Oh, I think goodbye. Mm. Take care, everyone. Love you. Mm. 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 <laughs>